Lightning is one of the most underestimated weather hazards. If you can hear thunder, you are within striking distance of lightning. That's your cue to take shelter, preferably in a house or a building. A car with a metal roof and sides is your next best option. Once inside, stay away from electrical appliances and only use landlines and computers in an emergency. So when is it safe to go back out? Stay put for 30 minutes after the last rumble of thunder. If you're caught outside and you are unable to reach shelter, stay away from tall trees, poles, and wire fences. Try to find a low-lying area. If someone is struck by lightning, call 911 immediately. They'll be safe to touch, so don't delay CPR if necessary. The telltale sign of an approaching tornado is a dark sky that often has a greenish tint. You may note a strong, persistent rotation in clouds, hail, or heavy rain followed by a dead calm, or an intense shift in the wind. If you see these signs, take shelter in a sturdy building. Once you're inside, move to the lowest level. If there isn't a basement, move to an interior room or hallway. Stay well away from windows. Flying glass and debris is the number one cause of deaths and injuries resulting from tornadoes. For more protection, get under something sturdy, like a heavy desk. Or sit against a wall and protect your head with your arms. Never get into a vehicle during a tornado and don't try to outrun one. If you're caught outside, lie flat in a low area and cover your head with your arms. Contrary to popular belief, you should not seek shelter under a highway overpass or bridge. Tornadoes and other storms can seriously damage power lines. Assume downed power lines are both energized and lethal. If one falls across your vehicle while you're driving, remain inside and try to drive away from the line. Warn people not to touch the vehicle or the wires. Report fallen lines immediately. Inland floods are one of the leading weather-related causes of death, with almost half of these fatalities involving a person driving their vehicle through a flooded area. People often feel powerful and protected behind the wheel, but it only takes two feet of water to float most cars away. Do not drive in flooded areas. Traveling afoot isn't always a safe option either. A mere six inches of moving water is enough to sweep an adult off their feet. Move to higher ground. The likelihood of making it through a severe weather event unharmed increases when you know of an approaching storm in advance. Make it a habit to stay up to date on weather forecasts. Likewise, stay prepared by keeping a fully stocked emergency kit at home and in your car. Remember to familiarize yourself with the emergency plan at work, create a plan for your home, and don't forget about those who may need assistance during an emergency.